my name is Venetia Berry. I'm a London-based artist. My work is based around the female form, but seen through an abstracted lens. I work mainly in um, painting and printmaking and also some ceramics as well. Um, my work is based around the female form, but it's very abstracted, so it's now much more of a balance of shapes and colour. Um, and I'm also really interested in how painting affects me and my mental health and how it makes me feel calmer. Um, so my aim with the finished works is for when people look at them, they feel a sense of calm and serenity and maybe a sort of dreamlike state. Um, today I'm going to be teaching a abstract portraiture class. I trained in a very traditional way um, in portraiture when I was about 18 years old. Um, so I'm today going to hopefully marry my two ways of working. Um, and we'll start off doing some drawings from a mirror and then we will use those drawings to create very abstract portraits that will end up looking something like, something like this by the end of the class. Um, today my materials are, I've got some coloured paper, which I'm going to um, cut out, but if you don't have access to scissors, you can also tear and then glue on. Um, I've got some coloured pens and felt tips and lots of paints and paint brushes. Um, and I also have some of my own inspiration, so things like this Matisse cutout. Um, and some of my own works that are based around the abstract face as well. Um, right, so the first thing to do is to get your piece of A3 coloured paper. Um, I have actually painted this colour on, but you can either have a ready-made piece of paper or um, paint your own colour on. And the first thing I want you to do is to get to either with your paper um, cut out a large shape and a few smaller shapes or use paint and you can paint these on. So I've um, cut out some shapes earlier but I want you to do this um, before getting working on the portrait because I want you to be a bit more spontaneous with where you put the shapes and not worry too much because I think the work works a lot better if you don't worry too much about it. So the first um, shape that's going to go on is the larger shape, which will, which will be the face, but I think it's more interesting to not have the face just inside the circle, but just to have it to the edge of the circle. Um, so, you know, the face will actually come off this shape as well. Um, and then I'm going to choose some other larger shapes. I usually like to put a shape next to where one of the eyes will be. Um, and some kind of line for either, this This is probably gonna be my nose, some line in the middle, but you can also put um, something where the eyebrows are or some other part of the face that you are interested in showing today. Um, and then I'm also gonna place down these two circles, which I often wear hoop earrings, so I like to have something that, um, something fun that, you know, maybe more shows me as a person in this abstract portrait but if you wear glasses or something you could play around with that or um, anything you can think of that represents you um, and so if I had time I would um, glue these on um, but as this is the quick class I have created some um, earlier now we will move on to the first um, first exercise which is a continuous line drawing um, I've actually got my phone here, which is going to act as my mirror, but hopefully you will have mirrors um, where you are. Um, so I'm using my, just using a pencil at the moment, and the idea with this drawing is um, to not let the pencil leave the paper. And I really encourage lots of squiggly lines. The whole beauty of these drawings is that they are uh, an amalgamation of lots of squiggly lines that you can then um, move on to your abstract, um, abstract drawing. So I'm going to start with the line at the bottom of my nose. In portraiture, 
um, there's, it's seen as this Z shape. So if you imagine that's the bottom of the nose and then you go up and then across the eyebrow, that's where um, portraits always start from and then you go on to the other eye. Um, so I recommend you start in that way. But so I'm gonna start quite abstract. So starting at the bottom of my nose, I'm really going to just use the lines really wiggly, go up to my eyebrow and just exaggerate all these lines because the whole point is this is an abstract drawing and it will only make your drawing better that you do later. Um, so you can see it's very wobbly, very abstract doesn't look anything like me, but that's, that's the whole fun of it. Now, I never really bother with these ones drawing hair in or anything, but, you know, do whatever you think makes you in the work. Um, so I'm just now get rid of my mirror. Now we're going to abstract the drawing that you just did. Um, and we're going to do this maybe two times um, so you can get used to the way of abstracting. Um, when I look at my work that I've just done, I'm going to try and look at what lines are really the most important lines in the work because that's, you know, the abstract drawing is, is going to look quite different and is not going to have very many marks in it. Um, so for me, I think one of the things that's really coming up is this wiggly line for the nose and maybe going around for the face and then but I'm really just trying to make these lines really smooth. We've gone from being quite wobbly and wiggly to being a lot smoother. Um, And looking at the lips. And looking at the earrings and things that I drew in. So that's just kind of one example. Um, and now I'm going to abstract it once more so you have two to choose from and you can go even more abstract in your, in your next one. So I'm gonna again do the sort of straight wobbly um, vertical wobbly line for the nose and then the eyes, do a little eyelid if you want. Just play about with different shapes. And it, when you're drawing um, abstract lips it's, it's quite easy to make lips look sad but actually if you want your lips to look slightly more upbeat then if you put the edges of the lips up um, then it automatically makes a nicer nicer looking smile and then again so playing about with shapes. So I've done circles for my earrings before, but this time I can maybe do some diagonal art marks. Um, but yeah, these are just your sketches. So now we will move on to getting some color involved. So the ones that I made earlier, um, are, you can see what my base is. So both of them, I have done one larger shape and something to represent maybe the nose or an eyebrow. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for this one today. And I'm going to use acrylic paint um, to paint on top of it. Um, so I've got a selection of colors. This is already quite a variation of colors. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for a dark blue color for one of the eyes. Um, because I've already got the nose drawn on. I only really need to add two eyes, a mouth, and then any kind of extra that you think will make it more um, representative of you. Or whoever it is you're drawing, you can use this 
drawing other people as well. Um, and I really like to work in quite thin lines um, when I'm working. And if you've painted or stuck on some shapes, the lines on top work really well, I think. So I'm going to start off. I, I also don't actually ever draw pencil underneath because I think the, it's much more interesting to just go with whatever your original mark is instead of trying to copy too much. Um, or, you know, it's like when you're trying to paint within the lines of something. So just There's my eye. I'm going to draw an eyelid as well. And you can see that this isn't that thick, so you can go over, over the lines again and again if you want the colour to be more to be slightly more um, prominent. I'm going to choose a different colour for the other eye. I think I'm actually going to go with something already in the works. I think I'm going to go for a red um, because it's really nice to create some kind of harmony um, within the work. I think if it's all, all lots of different colours, then it can look a bit messy. But if you have a few links within the work, then can all work as quite a nice balance. So this one I'm going to do, because it's an abstract portrait, I'm going to do a completely different other eye and I'm going to have it at a different level so they're not at all symmetrical um, and just makes it more fun. I think I'm going to do the lips in, I'm going to try and make the same colour as this, um, this kind of purpley colour by adding a bit of white into the blue that I've used earlier. And then again it's echoing colours that are already in the work. And then, just for the last one, I'm just going to create a kind of edge to the face. Use the same blue. And then I'll hopefully finish it off. Um, and there we go. I mean, you can continue working on it, but uh, I think it's quite nice um, just to have it as quite minimal and to use as few marks as, as you can and play about with this kind of technique and you can move it on and use this method for, um, for anything really. Thanks so much for joining everyone. Um, this is the finished work. <laughs>